Well, hey guys, how's it going? Figured I'd come out here and check my smokehouse, and while I did it, I'd knock out two stones with one bird. Make a little video about why sugar's making you a pissy pants. Uh, it's pretty well known, but a few people have uh, posted some pretty cool questions. Man, look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? Right there, a little prosciutto hanging in the smokehouse. So sugar, uh, in the brain, the brain really reacts the same way to sugar as it does heroin, methamphetamine, uh, due to that dopamine dump. And most of us are a lot more okay with consuming sugar than we are drugs, so we're able to justify it to ourselves. However, it's doing just as much damage as some of that other stuff. And what has happened over time since, uh, you know, obviously our, our health people aren't really gonna tell us this, is we have developed insulin resistance. Our brain runs on glucose. That's the main fuel for our brain. And what happens is our pancreas produces that insulin and it starts, the brain starts to block it because those levels become higher and higher and it won't let it into the brain. So our brain sends a message back down to our pancreas, says, hey dude, I'm not getting enough glucose. Make some more, make some more, make some more. And then all of a sudden, we, a sugar craving happens. And then it becomes a vicious cycle. And after that happens for a long period of time, we developed uh, high amounts of inflammation. Well, chronic inflammation basically turns into an autoimmune disease where the body starts to attack itself. Interesting. So how do we combat that? How do we keep our, our, uh, our insulin levels low enough that our brain gets enough glucose to fuel itself? Well, we can do things like take apple cider vinegar. And what I do is I put a bottle of apple cider vinegar out there in the barn and I keep one in the truck. And I got four or five bottles around here. And when I'm around one of them bottles, I'll just open the cap and take a little shot. So what does consuming a little bit of sugar every day do? Like when you have that daily Dr. Pepper or that daily Pepsi or whatever that does. Anything, anytime we consume food, it puts a spike in our blood sugar. Boom, boom. So if you want to age fast and be pissy and on edge all the time, consume a lot of meals and have sugar a lot. Uh, that'll do it for you. You know, that's, that's a good thing. And if you're, you're really wanting a good case of the Alzheimer's dementia thing, sugar. Sugar will do it for you. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. So the apple cider vinegar thing is to help uh, breathing, taking full deep breaths to keep ourselves out of that sympathetic fight or flight state where we can relax and stay focused. Uh, it sounds simple and stupid, but you watch, watch your breathing the next time that you feel flighty. Your blood sugar is high, you're stressed, you're anxious. Watch what your exhale is doing. It's very profound how it works. Uh, a little bit of exercise. Uh, exercise is not designed to make you lose weight. Exercise is designed to optimize your willpower, your state of mind, your spiritual health. Uh, if you're exercising to lose weight, that's like the advantage of trying to shave your back to make you more aerodynamic. It really, that's not what it was designed for. There are better ways to do it. So, hope those things make you think a little bit. I'm gonna post a couple videos below from Dr. Eric Berg. If the subject at all caught your attention, you're like, huh, well maybe why well, I'm pissy all the time could be from sugar. Yeah, it is. Yep, just a thought. Anyway, hoped I knocked out both birds with one stone. Catch you later.